George Ondek with the latest edition of the George Ondek Show. I'm very happy tonight to have one of my recurring features, fitness and health, and I have a fitness trainer with me. Her name's Gabby De Silva. How are you tonight, Gabby? I'm good. I'm good, George. How are you? Very good. How's everything? Everything's great. Okay. You have quite a few accomplishments, Gab. Gabby. You've worked for several clubs in the um, in the northern Westchester area. Mm -hmm. I think Solaris was one. Yep, Premier I worked Health at the club. Yeah, Premier Athletic Club in uh, Montrose, and I worked at uh, Gold's Gym in Fishkill, uh -huh. in Dutchess. And mm -hmm. you are a fitness trainer. I am. Also yeah. into health, a little healthy eating as well. I am. I'm also a bikini and uh, figure competitor. So yes. I have competed uh, a couple times. I just uh, competed uh, this past year. So my first time after having my baby, uh, that's three years old now. So I haven't competed in quite a few years. It's just been it's difficult uh, having a child and, you know, going through And what's through her name? I saw her at the J.V. Mall in Yorktown. Her name she's is, beautiful. Thank you. Her name is Sophia. So Sophia, like in three. Sophia Loren. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And um, so, yeah, so I competed uh, this year in NPC, which is uh, the National Physique Committee, and uh, it was in Poughkeepsie, New York. Uh, that's run, uh, the promoter is Matt Johnson. So, uh it was, uh, it was a really good show. Um, it was a lot of fun, and uh, there were a lot of competitors, but I did place, I wanted to place top five. I placed third place in my uh, category for figure, so I was very pleased with my and placing this year. That's like a national fitness competition. It is, yeah. it is. Do you have a picture there? I think I you do. have a picture. I do, I have. Um, Maybe this you can show my cameraman, yeah. Mike DeLuca. This was from um, 2010, this one here. Um, so I placed uh, first in uh, bikini and first in figure. Wow. Um, and they also, they put me in National Bodybuilding and Fitness Magazine. Now this magazine is uh, no, it's no longer in existence anymore, so they don't run this magazine, but I was happy to be in the last edition of it. So, wow. um, yeah, so it was uh, very exciting for me. And you're with a club now that you will work out at. What's the name of it on it's, Route 202? Yes, it's called uh, Dana's Efficiency Training Gym, owned by uh, Dana Capabianco, who is a very good friend of mine. She's also oh, yeah. also a uh, widely renowned uh, bodybuilder. She's been uh, in many fitness uh, magazines, uh, on TV. Um, she's very, the very... Happy Bianco goes way back with me. Yeah, she's uh, she was pretty big time back then. No, no. I, in, the, in the first grade, I had a teacher named Miss Capabianco. I wonder if it's a relative. Oh, of I don't know. <laughs> well, let's get back to you and fitness. Mm -hmm. How did you become involved in fitness? Um, I became involved in fitness, uh, this was around 2007, and uh, I did, uh, I was uh, with someone at the time, uh, my partner back then, his name was Brian, and um, uh, I really wasn't uh, into too much into fitness. I used to, I didn't know anything about fitness. I used to uh, just jog all the time and run, and I was very thin, and um, I was in good shape, but I had more of a, uh, a runner's body. And um, when um, we had moved in together, uh, you know, he would uh, go to the gym every night. That was his ritual. He would come home from work and go to the gym. And he'd say, come home, you know, why don't you come to the gym with me? And I'd say, uh, no, no, I'm just going to stay home. And it was just uh, every single night I would stay home. And I came across a big pile of fitness magazines that he always had uh, laying around, Flex, uh, Muscle Mag, you know, all the, you know, right. muscle, for, muscle fitness for her, for him. Right. So and I started looking through them, and I was like, wow, you know, uh, these girls really look um, amazing. Uh, they have amazing physiques, and I, I, love, I, love, I loved all the muscle, and I loved, you know, I loved the way that they, that, you know, they, they looked. And I said, oh, I'll never look like that, you know. Um, and so I remember I said to him, I said, you know, I held a, a picture of a, one of the co um, competitors, and I said, you know, could I ever look like this? He said, of course you can. You know, you just have to, you know, build muscle, and you have to eat a lot. And I said, oh, okay, well, you know what, I think I want to try this. So um, I did, and I started going to the gym with him every single day, like religiously five days wow. a week. And, um, you know, he also was um, 
you know, he does own his own business, construction business, but um, he did training. He trained a lot of competitors on the side, and he did have his certification to do training. So he was a bodybuilder as well. So by working out mm -hmm. and eating the right foods mm -hmm. and exercising mm -hmm. and lifting some weights, mm -hmm. people who are watching me tonight can get to look like you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, through a lot of hard work. I mean, it was a lot. It, it really was a lot of eating for me, especially because I was starting from a very small frame thin. And uh -huh. I know a lot of people would say, you know, oh, you know, it's, um, you know, starting off if, if you, you know, if you're, if you're heavy, you know, it's harder to start off that way. But it's also hard to start off with a very small frame because I had a very hard time putting, putting muscle on and putting weight on. So I had to eat so much food. Um, Most people have problems in the opposite right. direction. But, right, but it, it could be a problem in both directions because it could be a problem if, if you are overweight and you do want to lose weight, you know, you have to lose body fat first. And then once you do lose body fat, you know, then you have to start building up muscle because the mistake that people do make if they are, if, you know, if they are overweight is they start training heavy and what happens is your body fat turns into muscle and you've got this big bulky muscle, which is not what you want. But in my case, I was, uh, I was very, very skinny, uh, very skinny, like about like 100, really? 100 pounds. Really? And, um, yeah. First I was... girl I went out with who introduced <laughs> me to my wife was only 100 pounds <laughs> and she's still only 100 pounds. Yeah, well, I mean, I really, and I, there, you know, like I said, there was something wrong with how I looked. I, I looked healthy but I, I just uh, for my frame and for my height because I'm five seven and a half being wow. being that tiny I just it just didn't it was just too thin and when I started putting on size and putting on muscle I was like wow I really you know well, of course my clothing my, my clothing uh, uh, my clothing size changed uh, the weight on the scale went up because you know muscle weighs more than fat um, but I really I really liked the way I looked so since then I, I kind of ran with it and you I work out every day of your life now um, it's not every day. I mean, back then I, I was a little more hardcore with it, um, probably a little bit too much. Um, but I do work out five days a week now. I do take my weekends off if I can, or I'll just do my cardio on the weekends. And now you're a fitness trainer unaffiliated with any club. So at the end, right. I'd like you to give a phone number and a contact number where people can reach you. And I'm sure you will give them fitness tips. Absolutely, to... absolutely. I'm, I, I help. I help a lot of people. I actually went today when I did go to the mall today. I was getting a new pair of sunglasses, and I uh, had a girl ask me a couple questions. You know, what can I do just to get rid of this? And it's never a one-word answer. You know, because there's lots of different things as far as you know. I could say, oh, you can use this machine, or you could use do this exercise. But you know, um, nutrition and and uh, what kind of whatever type of cardio program that you should be doing. Um, of course, an, an exercise, uh, some sort of uh, an exercise plan. Um, so I, you know, she said, "Can I have your card?" I said, "Absolutely." She says, "I'll definitely be calling you." I said, "Yeah, absolutely." And Gabby, I've very shown nice one or two of my friends your card, and they want to contact you <laughs> already. So. Um. Yeah, I have a um, huge passion for what I do. I've, I, I just, um, you know, if it wasn't for... Um, it sounds like you want to help people to look better, feel better, feel younger. I, I, I love it. I love it. I train people of all ages from 13 to people in their, in their 70s and 80s. And um, I just absolutely love what I do. I love helping people reach their goals. And uh, I love when somebody really, you know, when people really put 100% into what they do and they, then they see the change, it really makes me feel very, very good. Now I have to tell you a little bit about myself. Mm -hmm. um, I've been doing a cable TV show for about 20 years, mm -hmm. but about 10 years ago, I had my first fitness expert on um, from Susan Marlowe's Health Club in Scarsdale. At the time, I weighed 265 pounds. Wow. Yeah. I weigh about between 195 and 200 now. Mm -hmm. But I had surgery about six months ago on my stomach, mm -hmm. and I've gained about 15 pounds back okay. and four inches on my waist. Right. Do you think you could help me get rid of this belly I'm starting sure, to get Sure, absolutely. And yeah. I've had one or two comments lately, George, you're putting weight on. <laughs> Maybe absolutely. in a few minutes we could do one or two exercises here at the studio. Sure, that would be great. And I would really like you to come back two or three times in the next year and we'll update your progress up, update my progress and if you would sure. give me a few um, lessons too yeah I'd like love to that that would be great that, too. that would be great but um so that's basically let's see I've got about a 44 inch waist right now I weigh about 200 and in a year or by the end of this year I'd like to be down to like 170 
and have okay. about a 36, 38 inch waist. Okay. And you know why I want to do that? Not only to look good, health reasons, but to stay forever young. How's that? <laughs> I I'm hear you. Thirty nine plus. Uh -huh. Don't tell anybody that. I'm a day over thirty nine. <laughs> it worked for an old comedian named Jack Benny. Oh and yeah. It's going to work for me, mm -hmm. I guess. Yes, yes. So, well, what do you think? Do you think you could show me a couple of exercises yeah, for I, the belly? Sure, I'd be happy. And to. then we'd like you to go into a routine of how of how you work out and. Um, do your exercises. Yeah, sounds good. And at the end, we want to let people know how they can contact you and um, you can help people. Yeah, that would be great. Okay, let's yeah. do it. Okay. <laughs> You're a lot of fun to work with. <laughs> okay. We're ready. Okay. Okay. What, don't you have to be there? Where am I looking? Um, where is she looking? Which camera? Okay. okay. Come on over there. Okay. Tell us when to start. Okay, Gabby, we're now seated, and you said you're going to do some chair exercises with me to try to get me to lose this gut I got here. Yes, we can. Uh, there's all different types of um, ab exercises that you could do as far as you could do ex um, ab exercises standing up, on the floor, uh, seated, depending on um, what, you know, what fitness level you're in, how advanced you are. Um, but some people, they do have, um, as far as issues, stability issues, and uh, they have, you know, as far as um, some of my, my older clients as well, don't like to really stand too much. Um, so if you don't have a machine, there are things that, there are exercises that you can do in a chair. Uh, one of them is the um, ab crunch, seated ab crunch in a That's chair, which you can do at home too, which could be, you know, rather than if you're not at the gym, you could do them at home. So basically the tips of your fingers are going to be behind your head. You don't behind have to interlock your fingers, okay? okay? So you can space them out a bit, okay? Mm -hmm. And what you do is you're going to do opposite knee to elbow. So you're going to bring your left knee up and you're going to bring it up as far as you can to your chest and you're going to touch your right elbow to your left knee. You're going to put it down. Then you come back up. So you stay with the same, you stay with the same leg, left. okay? Mm -hmm. So you're going to do right elbow to left knee. So you're going to okay. twist your torso. I don't know if I can yep. Quite. And even if you can't reach all the way, because some if people you're doing can't, because the of their, their range of motion. Okay, so you can start with one side, and you start with one side. So just continue with the one side and back up. Yep, just the one side though first. Mm -hmm. Okay. And remember, this is my first exercising since surgery six mm -hmm. months ago. Mm -hmm. So okay. if I'm not quite so depending, and you don't want to yank too hard because no. it can put a lot of stress on your neck right. too. So that's why you're just any ab exercise that you're doing and, with your hands behind your head. And what is this doing for me? When I'm uh, this is working your. I mean, basically, you're twisting. This. So you are working your abs. You're working your obliques as well. So when you're twisting, okay, this is definitely something that you can do in a chair something that you can do at home um, without any equipment needed, okay? So you can do that. Mm -hmm. um, there's the broomstick twist, which you can do, the which you, stick. yeah, which you basically, um, your whole body is seated forward, so you're not twisting or moving your legs, you're just sitting forward, and what sure. you're doing is just moving your waist. Should you have a broomstick? All the way the <laughs> <laughs> That's what they call it. And you can use an actual stick, which is why they call it the broomstick twist. Uh -huh. You can actually hold hold something, hold a stick, and you're just moving your torso as I'm far as far torso. as you can, wherever wherever your range of motion is, as far as you can, all the way to the side. All the way to the side. Okay. How many repetitions should you do? Um, it depends. I mean, you could do high reps. You could do 20s. You could do 30. You know, especially if you're not using any weight, you know, up your reps. If you're using some weight, you don't have to do as many. Uh, it's really depending on what your fitness goals are, where you, where you are. I've started to lift weights again. I'm up to 20 pounds. Should I go further than that? Seeing my age. So what are you doing as far as with the weights? Are you um, doing bicep curls? Are you doing, doing shoulder, down, shoulder presses? Yeah, uh, curls. And how many, uh, how many reps about are 20, you? 20 of each. Okay, so you're doing 20 pounds? 20 pounds and about 20 20 inch. reps? Yep. Okay. okay. Is that good? Yeah, I mean, you know, if you, if you have unwanted body fat, if you have body fat that you want to get rid of, like I was saying, the worst thing that you could do is lift super, super heavy because... Really? Yeah, because, well, not only will it, will it cause injury because you don't want to go too heavy, but what you want to do is you want to start, you know, if you, you want to start losing body fat first. And to lose body fat, 
you really should be working at a more high intensity level mm -hmm. um, with your weight training. And you should be doing more high reps, low impact high reps. Um, and again, exercise is to get rid of this. Exercise is to get rid of that. So okay. yeah, so there are a couple, like I said, the broomstick and the um, and the crunch. We could do. Um, Actually, let me see you doing them. I'll just sit and observe for a while. Okay. On the floor? No, either on the floor or up. Okay. Well, those are a couple that I was uh, mentioning. Okay. Another one is you could sit and holding the uh, holding the arms of the chair. And what you can do is you can bring your knees to your chest as far as you can. Okay, so you can do that oh all the God. way up, feet together. I can feel the muscles tightening. Yeah, can you feel it in your abs? Mm -hmm. Yep, okay, so you can come all the way up to your chest. Yeah, and these are great exercises. That, that's why I stress that you could do these at home too, so you don't have to be at the gym doing them. Mm -hmm. And you can come as far as you can, as far as you can, knees to chest, legs together, feet together. And Gabby, I hear you're a personal trainer who does things at home. Um, you, you can go to people's homes and help them I work do. Out? I do go to people's homes. I do have a, um, a, a my own um, in-personal home training business that I do. So I do go to people's What's homes. What's the name of it? It's called G Fitness uh, G Training. Fitness. Yep, my name's Gabby, so I just Gabby figured... Gabby what? De Silva? Gabriella De Silva. Uh -huh. Did I hear your family had a business or in Peekskill, a famous deli. That's they, did, there, they, like they did. They did. They did many, many moons ago. They did. Yes. So uh, yes, that was theirs. Um, but yeah. So I do. I do have that, and I and I do train at uh, at Dana's a training efficiency gym in uh -huh. Crompound. Now so. let's pretend I'm not here. Go through about ten minutes if you were instructing someone on building their muscles and and getting to look like you, more fit. Men, women, women. Men, women, whatever you prefer. Um, well, like I said, depending on you know, depending on where you are, um, exercise-wise, if you either if you're a beginner, um, if you're advanced, you know, there's all different different ways to approach how you're going to be starting. So if you're more advanced into this or you've been weight training for years, it's a little bit easier to muscle does have memory, so it's a little bit easier to. Um, put on, you know, to put size on. If you're a beginner, like I was a beginner in 07, and I started from a very small frame, it took me, you know, it took me about a good two years to want to, you know, I wanted to get on stage and compete. And I remember I kept saying, oh, I'm going to compete this year. And everyone was like, well, you don't have enough muscle. You have to weight train. Uh, the older you get, the longer that you do train, weight train, strength train, um, the more muscle maturity you do have. So it does take, uh, it does take years. It takes many years to, uh, to put on, you know, to put on muscle mass. It's never too late to do never. this and it's never too early to start It's this. not, it's not. And so you have uh, clients as young as how old? Uh, 13 as old to as clients old? in their 70s and in their early 80s. I've wow. worked with people with all different types of ailments, people that have had strokes, um, I mean, people that have um, exercise-induced asthma, um, all kinds of stuff. Um, so it's never too late, you know, it's never too late to start your, your fitness journey no matter what age that you're at and no matter, w you know, whether you've ever picked up a weight in your life or, you know, whether you have at some point and you're just returning back into your fitness journey again. But uh, you can always, when at any you, time. When you do your training, is it usually with music? Or? Um, I mean, uh, usually, yeah, because yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, it's a shame actually you today, next which is time we do a show, you're going to bring the music. Uh, funny with you, you said that. Routine. Funny you did mention that because today I actually did have a uh, client of mine that uh, did come in and uh, our music wasn't working. Um. And not that I'm listening to the music or anyone is, but it does pump you up and it is something for the background and it does, you know, it's it's nice to have. It's definitely nice to have music. I always have my music on. Like my I've own. had Zumba instructors on. It's nice to exercise the music oh, absolutely. because you feel like you're not even absolutely. exercising. You're having fun. Absolutely, and it, and it is fun. And when I do train, um, you know, I had, I, have a, I had a couple of clients of mine that would say, uh, well, people that were before my clients, and they would say, oh, um, you know, when I did the fitness assessment with them, they said, oh, I can't train with you. And I'd say, why not? And they'd say, I don't know, you scare me, you intimidate me. And I'd say, I'm really not that scary. I'm actually a lot of fun, you know, you it's fun. Like a very nice down-to-earth person. It's, it's fun, but when people, you know, it, when people, especially, you know, women that I do, uh, you know, that I did uh, assessments with, they'd say, oh, well, I don't want to look like that. You know, I don't want to look get too big, or I don't want to, you know, and you can't get too big. You know, there's, there's no way of, you know, men and women 
women have dis different testosterone levels, so there's mm -hmm. no way of a woman being gigantic. There's no um, way of a woman being too muscular. I mean, if there's if there's you know things yeah. uh, you know things that you're not you know they, you're not supposed to be taking. But, oh, okay. Uh, yeah. But the as far as natural supplements, na supplements but naturally, um, you know, there's no way to to get as big as a man. It's just not you know scientifically, it's not possible to get that way. Um, so, I mean, you know, even lifting heavy, there's just, if anything, you lean out and uh, you just build nice lean muscle mass. And How many you, pounds can you lift? Um, it depends. <laughs> I mean, I, I can't say with uh, one thing. It depends on what exercise it is. Um, but um, it really depends. Gabby, we have about five minutes left in the show. Sure. Again, I want you to pretend that you're with a woman for the first time. What do you tell her? And... and What's a sort of an exercise routine you might do for the first time? Um, well, like I said, if it's, um, I mean, if we're talking about somebody that's a, a beginner, um, you know, I would walk them through. I would definitely uh, do an assessment with them and put together, you know, get to know them a little bit, um, take down all their information. But I like to make somebody feel comfortable as well so they don't feel like they're just, you know, talking. And, and you know, I like to get to know the person. And they become like a friend. Yeah, and a lot of, a I've, I've built a rapport with all my clients. And uh, uh, we, have, we have a lot of fun together when we train. But um, I like to get to know them and make them feel comfortable, get to know their, uh, their, their medical history. Have they ever worked out before? If if they did, what what did they used to do? Uh, medically, any kind of things that are going on with anybody is extremely important to put someone on a. If you're putting someone on a, a, a in, in in a fitness program, um, it's very important to know what medically what's wrong with them, or if, if they've had you know any anything going on. If they've broken anything, or you know. Or if they any have of, high blood pressure. Any of those or, things, high blood pressure, uh, cholesterol, so you asthma. So you mod modify your program to the person. Yeah, because everybody's bodies, everybody's different. So, uh, you know, you have to go according to, based on those that person's, you know, fitness level. And, and, and you have beautiful skin. Has that got a lot to do with <laughs> what you eat and everything? Um, and maybe in our next show we can talk more about nutrition. As yeah, well as fitness. I do. I do a lot of nutrition for people. Um, I put together meal plans for most of my clients. Do have meal plans that I put together for them, and they do. They're they're very successful with them. Um, so, yeah. I mean, uh, and of course, um, as far as you know, having nice skin tone, uh, it definitely. I mean, working out is. Uh, you know, they used to say, uh, you know, bodybuilding, strength training, not just bodybuilding, strength training, working out's the fountain of youth, they would call it and back then. And eating the right food. And eating right. right. And, and it really is, because it's not only is it healthy, not only cosmetically is does it make you feel good because of how, you know, it makes you feel good. You look in the mirror, you know, you like how you look. But also um, health-wise, it's extremely important. Uh, the older you get, you know, the more important it is to stay in shape and, uh, and, and be healthy. And, uh, do you run much or do you? Uh, I never run. Never you run. Walk? I used to run back then, and it used to. I did some little bit of damage to my knees doing oh, that, wow. and that was when I was a runner. You back know what then. I found out the best exercise? Walking, brisk walking. It is. I do it at the JV Mall. Yeah. An hour a day. Yeah. Walking keeps your is, heart healthy. It, it keeps does. You in, in fitness. It does. Walking is uh, the number one thing when I would compete um, before I would get on stage of all the months because you you do have to diet down a significant significant amount of weeks before you do get on stage but all of my cardio was always you know fast paced walking was never running because it just puts so much stress on your knees and um, it's just not not really I'm not really into it when I was it used to run back and then I used to hurt my knees my feet used to hurt really? all the time and did I yeah. hear you were a cheerleader in high school or? I was a cheerleader and yes, an aspiring I was. actress as well uh, I, I I wanted to be I did do little things here and there so um, I did enjoy I did enjoy that back then but I'm more, very much into my uh, fit, fitness. fitness lifestyle now, and it's something that I just, I absolutely love. It's my passion. I love it, so, mm -hmm. yeah. We're almost to the end of the show. Okay. Um, what is a contact number if people need help and would like to call you and uh, okay. avail themselves sure. of your yeah. information? If, um, you know, I know if, you'll give them free information. Yeah, but if, if anybody in the future needs help, I do offer one. free 60-minute uh, fitness assessments where I am. 
Um, it's at Dana's Efficiency Training Gym in Crown Pound. Um, and uh, my number is 914-382-1406 uh, to contact me. If you do need any help, don't be shy to reach out. Um, I'm very much into helping people um, you know, reach their goals. No matter, no matter where you're at, it's not impossible to get to where you want to be. Um, and Gabby, my goal is 36 to 38 inch waist, a little bit more muscle, mm -hmm. and about mm -hmm. 170 pounds by December 31st. Okay, well, let's make that Did a goal. Did you vow to help me on that? I will. Let's make okay. that a goal. Okay. And we're going to have you back two or three times in the year to see how I'm doing and to see how you're doing. I would love that. That would be great. My vast audience from uh, Harrison to, uh, to, to Chappaqua and about a million viewers. I've been very proud tonight to have a fitness expert on my show, Gabby um, De Silva from Peatskill, New York, my kind of town. <laughs> and uh, till next time, stay healthy, eat right, work out, and lift some weights and be fit. Yeah, stay healthy. Thank you, Gabby. Thank, Thank you, you very, very much, much, George. Thank you. It was an honor. Great Thank guest. you.